Hi guys, welcome back to a little bit of an update video. I've been out of town for a while, and a lot of stuff went on, so for two months, I haven't even sat down on my computer. And the last week, I've had the ability to come down and do a little bit of work. So, this is going to be another one of those weird update videos where I just sort of show you what I've been working on and what the future is going to be. First off, I've been sort of teasing my idea, and it's this. It's my pet. Essentially what I want to be able to do is have it so if you got a little bit of fluid left in something, you can get it out. So let's see here. Let's say you take a bucket of water and you pump it out. You know, this is less than a bucket now. So you want to get it out. If you do with that, you can get up to a fourth of a bucket. You know, you can click it in and out and it's no problem. It's also work, you know, any fluid. It'll render just like you'd expect. It's even got transparency. I don't know if you can see there. You can see the engine through the oil there. And if it's got more than one tank, like this does, it needs a coolant and a fuel, it's going to put it in the one that fits. So if you look here, that's the fuel. You can barely see it down there. And if you take some water, you can stick it in here. Unfortunately, you got to shift right click for the moment. This isn't finished. Now, taking it out, it's a little bit random. It's just whatever one it comes across first. And eventually, if you click on an inventory that has more than one tank, it's going to give you a selection GUI. You can click one or the other, you know, that way you can choose which one you're pulling from. Because if this tank's totally full and you just want to get that little bit of water, you'd have to empty all the fuel to get to the water. Because that's just the order it chose. So that'll be fixed in the future. Again, this mod isn't even released. This is the little random grab bag mod that me and Diana have been working on. If it isn't released, I'll put this in a different mod. I like the idea, and I want to have it out there. The only other thing functional in the mod at the moment besides this is the trash bag it's another item of mine it used to be in my own personal grab bag mod but you know when we decided to do this idea i just pulled the idea over it's just like you would expect it's a trash bag you can just drop stuff in there and it's gone if you want you can even drop stuff onto the item and it's gone so you can't pick this up aside from that there's only one more thing i wanted to say in this video modular systems will get some work soon I've been looking at it, I've been thinking, you know, where do I want to go with this mod next? It's been around for, gosh, almost three years now. So, it's in a bit of a state, and it needs some real evaluation. I need to sit down and see where I'm going to go with it. I've learned a lot since I first started coding this mod. I've learned things I would do totally differently, down to the basic mechanics that run everything. The GUIs, the block handling, I want to change it. So, that being said, I might be doing a rewrite. I'm not sure entirely yet if I'm going to do that, but odds are I'm going to. And it'll be more efficient, there'll be more, no more bugs. But it also means that I'm going to be scrapping a lot of ideas and starting fresh. So, it's going to go more towards its roots, what it came from, being a cuboid. It can be any size, you know, you create it and it'll change and it'll do it based on what you build out of that's the main idea i want to carry through with this and because it's no longer modular furnace as it started i want to push more systems and i want to make a system where well code wise system that i can create more of these shapes and multi blocks quicker and a lot easier so i can get better things to you a lot faster because i know a rewrite's going to take time and a lot of people want these updates now you know there's people have these in packs and as it stands now, the mods are very stable. And you can keep it. It's got a couple bugs, but as with everything, it does. And unfortunately, I don't have the time at the moment to sit down and work on those. And it's so, you know, cluttered to me at this point that I wouldn't even know where to begin. So I want to start over, and I want to see, you know, if I could do this better a second time around. Well, I guess at this point, it's a third time around. You know, this was the first mod I ever coded from start to finish. So I kind of want to see it succeed, and I want to see how much better I can make it with each new iteration. So with that being said, expect there to be a, a fairly big delay in content. I know there's already been a few months. I haven't done anything, and I, hate, I really hate that. I do, but, you know, real life comes along sometimes. You've got to take time away from it, spend time with family, spend time with all this other stuff, you know, work. There are things you have to do, and modding is done in my free time, and it's done for fun. 
So sometimes you got to do stuff you don't want to do, and modding is something I want to do, so I can't always get to it. I'm not going to go into the details. I'm sure a lot, everyone's got problems. They've got things they can't sit down. No one can always have the time they want. And really, I just want to thank you guys for supporting me. You know, I've had one or two people get a little frustrated with me on the forums for, you know, not updating this as frequently as I should. But there's so much support that backs me that that one person is drowned out by tens. So thank all of you for keeping on the forums, helping people out when I'm not around. You know, you guys keep this going and it makes it easy for me to know that when I'm gone, people will help those that need help with the mod. I try to make it as easy as possible and as simple as possible, but even then you can't always judge for everything. I can't judge for all the mods that are going to be involved with it. I can't do all that. You know, I'm just one guy who does this in his free time and I really don't know where I'm going to go with it. So I've done some stuff in here. This GUI that you're seeing is using things developed from Android and iOS programming. The GUI scales, if you've ever had a 9 patch, if anyone ever cares, you know, I can show a little video on how that works. Uh, there's no rendering code necessarily specific to this GUI. It's all based off the container. So any of you who do modding, you can go look at my source. I've kept it on GitHub. It's the things and stuff mod. You can look at how I'm rendering my GUI. And it'll be pretty cool. Aside from that, I'll hopefully be tweeting out any updates I have. If you have anything you want to ask me, you know, leave a comment here or better yet, the forums. Other than that, you know, let me know what you think.